which I'm going to try to work it off at the gym because, again, I want to lose about 20 more pounds, which I'm working on now. So, you know, it's slowly coming off. You know, some people, I lost the majority of my weight during the first six months of having lap band done. But, you know, the remaining has been coming off slow because, you know, you get to a certain weight. I think when, once I hit the Wonderland 190s, I was like, oh, well, I'm cool. I can go out. I can drink. Um, you know, it's not that serious. But um, I've gotten more focused probably within the past three months. So um, definitely um, looking forward to this all healing up so I can get, you know, see some ab action going on as well. But hopefully, you know, I'm going to try to get the lipo, but if I can work this off without having to get any lipo done, that would be awesome. But I'll talk to her about that to see if that's even possible. But um, yeah, I think Dr. Ann with OSU Plastic Surgery here in um, Columbus, Ohio, she did an excellent job. Um, you know, especially with this just being insurance only and no additional, um, which I was going to get the lipo and everything done at the same time, but she decided, you know, it would be best for me to do two separate procedures to get the results that I want. So after, you know, the swelling and everything goes down, then I can see, you know, exactly where I want that lipo done. So um, let me go ahead and put this back up, sit down, talk to you guys. Um, so... Since I've had the um, surgery done last week, um, to be honest, as far as like, you know, anyone that's considering having the surgery done and maybe you haven't had a C-section or anything, um, or let's talk about people who have had C-sections. If you had a C-section, I don't think this, sorry, this surgery is going to be that like painful for you. So for me, because I had a, a C-section, um, it really, I knew what to expect. And the pain, because she didn't do any muscle tightening, just um, simply, you know, the removal of the fat and skin, which was a total of six and a half pounds, you guys, um, which almost seven pounds she took off of me. Um, there wasn't really a lot of pain for me, but I guess, you know, people say if you get the muscle tightening done, that can be really painful. But, um, so yeah, so there wasn't um, a lot of that. For me, I think there was, um, I took pain pills maybe for the first two days, which was like Percocet, and then I switched to ibuprofen. And um, so I did that um, probably, so on maybe Friday, I started just taking ibuprofen. Um, so what else am I taking? Um, they also gave me a prescription for um, Flexerol, which is a muscle relaxant. And um, another, like, let me look at these Target bottles. Okay. Of course, I had the generic with my insurance. So, one was Fluexetine, which was, no, sorry, that's something else. Whoop. I think that's one of, that's an antidepressant. My bad. Sorry. Um, the cyclobenza pair or the name for it is the flexerol which is a muscle relaxant and I take that like maybe I've only taken it a couple of times it's just as needed when your muscles get really you have a muscle spasm and I think I only had like a muscle spasm maybe a couple of times and so I've only taken two of those um show you the bottle there you go the name I don't know if you can see that um and then the other was like oxycodone, which is like the Percocet. And I only took those a couple of times, so I still have those left. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't really that painful. I'm really, you know, again, I'm really swollen right now. So, I'm really excited to see what my results are going to even look like from, you know, six weeks from now to um, six weeks to maybe three months from now. I'm really excited about the, to see how those work. Sorry, love this belt, you guys. I got it from the thrift store for like three bucks. Love it. Okay. Um, so, so I'm really excited about seeing what my results are going to look like. Um, and hopefully my stomach goes down. And again, I'm definitely being conscientious about working out and wanting to watch my weight. My doctor told me, of course, that I cannot work out probably for the first three weeks or first week. I know for sure she said I can't start walking until tomorrow but you know me 
you know, I'm hard headed anyway. So, you know me, like, you know, I get worried about blood clots and things. So, you know, day, day one after surgery, I'm at home walking around doing stuff, trying to clean up, being really careful because I don't want to pull my stitches or anything. But yeah, you know, cleaning up, walking around, walking outside, you know. My, my surgeon called me like that evening to check on me. She's like, are you okay? What's going on? I was like, I'm outside taking a walk. She's like, you need to get in the house. I was like, but I thought I should walk around for blood clots to avoid getting that. She's like, no, absolutely not. You need to have a seat and then walk to the bathroom, walk to the kitchen. I was like... <laughs> so, so you know so she lectured me about that but um you know I'm just very anxious to get back into the gym and start working out and getting the results that I've never been able to achieve um with my stomach I know that for the abdominal I think from some what other people have told me some people have said it's been like three to six months before you can do any abdominal work but I'm going to talk to my surgeon to find out because every surgeon is different to find out if maybe possibly there are some ab abdominal exercises that I can do that won't put a lot of tension that can still help me get some results, you know, some definition. Um, so I'm, I again meet with her on Thursday, so I'm excited about that. Um, oh, let me get back to kind of like some of the medicine. So I did take, um, again, I told you guys I went to like ibuprofen and I took about 800 milligrams of that whenever I started to kind of have any pain or anything. Um, but I also had to take gentle, um, laxative tablets. People don't really tell you about this. Um, these are, you know, Target brand cause everybody knows I love Target. So, um, but I took these, um, which, you know, my doctor recommended to take laxatives as well because you're going to be constipated, which anyone who has lap band, I don't know if other people have experienced this, but lap being you kind of get constipated as well so like i kind of have to be conscious about that because sometimes i'll realize like wait i haven't done the number two in three or four days so i need to go ahead maybe that's why my skin's breaking out maybe that's why i'm feeling backed up so you know i have to be very conscious of that so i was very conscious of that like you know before surgery you know timing it perfectly so i could take it and you know, I think I had my first bowel movement like two days ago. So probably three days after surgery, which, you know, I was like, oh my God, thank God. But, um, but yeah, like you definitely get constipated. I don't know if other people experience this with their paniculectomy, but definitely was really constipated and, you know, it, it took a while to get things moving. So be conscious of that if you're considering surgery, but, you know, do I regret having lap band? Do I regret having my paniculectomy? Definitely not. Um, you know, I'm always, it's major surgery, so I always encourage people to, you know, research, research other people's videos, research other people's experiences, and then know your own body. And, you know, I know my body.